Hi there, Jonathan with Buffalo Modular Homes. I'm standing in front of the La Bella Casa One. 1750 square feet on the first floor. Plus these folks have a walkout basement, which totals, uh, when you think about the ability to, to finish that out, that actually means that you're north of 3,200 square feet on this house. This is a huge house. <clears throat> so off the front here, one of the things I wanted to point out, um, this is not specific to La Balacasa, but something that they chose. They have this nice shed dormer off the front of the house with a white shake shingle in there. Big 22 foot dormer, uh, comes with a nice, uh, becomes a nice access point or uh, accent point to the house. Um, maybe future uh, porch off the front. Um, this is a spot where you'd have the garage entrance and you'll see based on its proximity to the front door, um, this becomes a really, really great access point because as you'll see here, as we walk in, the front door is right there off to the right. So your utility room mudroom space is actually accessible from both the side entrance, garage entrance, plus the front door, which is nice. There's a nice little hall closet here and a spot for uh, maybe a bench or something like that to take your shoes off as you come in. Uh, utility space here with the hookups for washer dryer, plus the uh, utility sink and uh, cabinets above uh, really a lot of space in here for storage which is great uh, utility sink is standard with the uh, la bella casa which is a nice feature and here we come into the real main focal point of la bella casa the kitchen so i want to point out the uh, front door as i was mentioning right off the utility room space here so let's focus on this kitchen here you have this huge side-by-side -side fridge freezer combination here um, a huge space here eight foot six ceilings in the in throughout the entire house throughout the entire first floor of the house comes standard with la bella casa this huge island um, standard galley sink and coil faucet standard double wall oven and uh, down draft cooktop comes standard uh, Nice space for the microwave over here. This will get a, a whole trim piece to it as well. Uh, it's just not in yet. Another a uh, big, huge closet in here off of the uh, kitchen space. Potentially finish that out as, uh, as a pantry space as well. Beverage center space with glass cabinets here and also glass cabinets over here, um, both sides of the kitchen, which is a nice little piece here. But this being the beverage center, you have your wine rack in here, beverage cooler, ceramic backsplash, haven't mentioned that yet. This is also standard with La Bella Casa. Here's the other uh, built-in cabinet space here, um, adjacent from, uh, from the opposite, uh, one on the opposite side of the kitchen here. Look at this huge, huge island. Man, you could fit five, six bar stools on here easily. Um, Oh, and I didn't mention the uh, the pendant lights also come standard with this uh, with this package. It's a great package. <clears throat> with the package, notice that the uh, the wall cabinets also come up to the ceiling as well, which is nice. So once you get to eight foot six, wall cabinets go right to the ceiling, which is great. If the, you didn't have enough storage already, here's some more storage for you. <laughs> Big uh, barn door, sliding barn door, and pantry space off of the kitchen. This house has a ton of kitchen storage. So we'll go over to the master first, but one of the things I wanted to point out here is this beautiful walkout space here. 10 foot sliding glass door, two windows over here. This is where you'd uh, have your dining space. You can see they got some recessed lighting in here. Typically there'd be a coffered ceiling on this as well. Uh, they elected to omit that just for, I assume just for the sake of uh, consistent ceiling space across the whole thing. Uh, nice big um, ceiling fan that they have in here as well. Let's head over to the master bedroom off of the dining room here. Master is on the opposite side as the other two bedrooms. Have a nice ceiling fan in here as well. Plus, uh, they did an additional uh, walk out to their deck here. So the deck's going to happen in the future. So we have a, we have a block in here for the sake of passing uh, passing the inspection. Um, but uh, here's the 
closet for the master. Big closet, not a walk-in, um, but still a very, very large closet. Two doors uh, off of here. So let's walk into the master bathroom here. Big master bathroom. I'm gonna point out the, uh, the vanity here um, as we're looking. Uh, big, huge vanity with a double sink. Huge mirror, wall cabinets, two banks of drawers, two sets of doors uh, underneath there. Soft clothes, drawers, did I mention yet? <clears throat> and uh, they have this really nice tile shower in here. Ceramic tile shower, pan base. Keep things nice and simple for you. And uh, two glass um, shelves that they put in here, which is really nice. Um, a lot of times in the showers you see, you would see maybe a wall niche or something like that. Um, I like the glass shelves. It keeps things um, small, low key. It's a small shower, it's not a, not a huge shower. Um, so I like the, uh, the shelves in here instead of the, uh, the wall niche. But this is, uh, this is a beautiful soaker tub. Typically the soaker tub would sit uh, underneath a window in the, the standard floor plan, but based on the changes that these folks made, um, it's moved its location and now there's not a window over, over it, but still pretty nice. Vinyl plank flooring throughout the whole house. Um, this, the La Bella Casa comes standard with some uh, vinyl plank flooring, but this vinyl plank flooring they kept consistent throughout the entire house. Here's the, uh, the hall bath with the tub shower uh, insert. Nice vanity with a bank of drawers and door base uh, underneath as well. A uh, hall closet, nice linen closet here. And then we come to the two bedrooms here. So nice size bedrooms. Um, both of them have a window in them. Um, they didn't do double window or anything like that, but that's certainly something that you can do. Do a double window or maybe a window on both sides. Um, certainly can open the space up, make it feel a lot larger if you do two windows or a double window or something like that. And then here's your other bedroom. They did a ceiling light in both bedrooms. Again, the window and your closet. So let's walk down to this big, huge basement space here. Here's our access point to the basement right off the kitchen and dining room and living room space. So your basement's gonna be <clears throat> these pine stairs, handrail, drywall with a coat of mud on it. And uh, you can finish that out later on if you want to. Probably when you finish this wonderful, wonderful basement that they have here. Take a look at all of this space. This is a huge basement. Tons and tons of space. So let's get over here, let's see. So what they could do is they could put in a bedroom in here if they wanted to. Uh, later on, you have the window in here, another window in here, uh, glass block, but this is a nice window for another bedroom. I mean, this could easily be a five bedroom home, two living rooms. Uh, you could do a additional, um, excuse me, additional um, kitchenette down here if you wanted to, if that made sense for you based on how you're using your space. There's the hot water tank, tankless hot water, which is always nice. Always, always hot water. High efficiency furnace, four side air. So the duct work and the sump pail, additional glass block window. Each basin comes standard with two glass block windows. Um, you can do more windows if you'd like to. Um, some pail and electrical panel here. Nice wiring, Jim. But <clears throat> with these two additional windows in here and the walkout, 
like I said, you could easily turn this into a five bedroom, two living room, 3,200 square foot house. This is a huge, huge house. <clears throat> if you like what you see here, uh, if this has been helpful to you, feel free to leave a comment in, uh, in the comment section on this video. And uh, if you uh, like uh, the little Bella Casa, would like a quote on it, we'd be happy to put something together for you specifically suited for, for your build on your land, wherever that might be. <clears throat> and uh, feel free to, uh, to reach out through our website. Thanks very much.